so this is the connection diagram here you see this is the thermistor and here is a 20k potentiometer and it is set at 15.23 kilo ohm and this is npn transistor and this is a resistance around 165 kilo ohm and this is a 4.7 kilo ohm resistance this one and uh, this is 1k resistance and uh, this is 10k and this is 555 timer i see and uh, this is uh, 10 microfarad capacitor and this is the led and uh, this is the buzzer and uh, this is 1k resistance now we are going to show you the connection diagrams and precautions and other things and explanation This is the circuit diagram for this project. We are using here this 555 timer. This IC. This thermistor. It is 10K thermistor. That is, if you do not heat up this thermistor, then it will give you 10K resistance across this terminal. This this terminal and this point. It will give you 10K resistance. This is a potentiometer, 20K potentiometer. And it is set as 15, 15K. 15 kilo this set in 15 kilo resistance this is 9 volt battery 160k resistance this is this is the npn transistor bc547 you can use any one of the npn transistor this is 4.7k and this is 1k resistance and this is 1k also resistance this resistance we are connecting here to protect this led from high voltage this is bazaar this is 10 microfarad capacitor now in this circuit we are connecting this 555 timer in a stable configuration in a stable mode when you switch on the power supply then this ic this 555 timer produces a output which is like this a square, square wave and the output high voltage will be equal to will be very close to the applied voltage vcc applied voltage here since we are applying here you can see 9 volt power supply so our output will be here this is the point 0.3 this is the output pin so here we will get very close to 9 volt we are connecting this in five in this five 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 timer in a stable configuration because we want to beep this buzzer we want to make this led blinking so we are connecting this 555 timer in a stable configuration now to understand the working principle of this circuit you do not have to worry about these resistances you only have to concentrate on this point that is the reset pin of the 555 timer this is r pin that is reset pin the pin number four of the ic now if you directly connect this reset to vcc or through a resistance you can also connect to vcc and we'll, for the first time let's we do not have this 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 part we do not have this part we have only this part from this resistance to this to this this part only we have and we are connecting this part to this battery so if you connect the 555 timer in a stable configuration then it will produce this square wave and our buzzer and LED both will turn on it will produce a beeping sound and LED will blink but we don't want this we want this output wave to become like this only when we hit the thermistor so we have to do this thing somehow so for this we are connecting this thing, this circuit this resistance this NPN transistor transistor so the reset and set operation of the 555 timer is like this you can see where R is connected to VCC then output is in a stable mode and when R is connected to ground then the R is in 
then the output is in output is off so when we are not hitting this thermistor then it will give you 10k resistance and this potentiometer is adjusted to 15k so the net resistance will be 25k and so the voltage applied to this point the base of the transistor will be high enough so that it will turn on this transistor because this resistance is very high so current most of the current will go to this base of the transistor less current will come to this terminal to ground so most of the current will come to the base of the transistor and we know that when we apply a voltage sufficient voltage to the base of the transistor then transistor becomes on so when we are not hitting then this resistance is high the resistance of this terminal is high so the applied voltage will be here sufficient so that the transistor will on and if the transistor is on then you can see the R will be connected to ground as when transistor on then the collector and emitter is almost short circuited the resistance between this terminal and this terminal is almost very small so R will be connected to ground and if R is connected to ground you can see the result here if R is connected to ground then R then output will be off so our buzzer and LED will not work will not work and let's say when we heat this thermistor then the resistance of this thermistor decreases and if the resistance of this thermistor decreases then the resistance of this whole terminal will decrease and more current will come to this to this terminal and less current will come to this terminal we have to adjust this potentiometer so that the current coming to this terminal is larger enough so that the voltage applied to this point is less and if the voltage applied to this point is less then the transistor will be off and if transistor is off then the R is not connected to ground and R is connected to VCC so R is connected to VCC if R is connected to VCC then output is in a stable mode so our output will be in a stable mode and resistance and buzzer will work I am again explaining when we do not hit the thermistor then this resistance is high so current is coming to this terminal also but it is very small and current will go to this terminal so transistor will be on if transistor is on then this terminal is connected to this terminal we can think like this because when we on the transistor then the collector that the resistance between this collector and emitter is very small so the R will be connected to ground and if R is connected to ground then the output will be off R is connected to ground output is off so our buzzer and LED will not work the LED will not blink buzzer will not produce any sound now for the second case let's say we are hitting this thermistor and if we are hitting this thermistor then this resistance will decrease and if this resistance decrease then current will come to this terminal also the current the one the amount of current will increase to this terminal and the amount of current to this terminal will decrease automatically so the transistor will be off and if the transistor is off then this is this collector terminal this reset pin is not connected to ground and since it is not connected to ground the voltage applied to this resistance will come here the current will come here and there will be some voltage applied to this point all this point and if this is connected to voltage high voltage that is VCC then the output will be in a stable mode and we will get the buzzer and LED working
that is the simple working principle now one more thing you can do if you sense this value of capacitor then it will produce different sound if you sense the capacitor to some other value then the frequency of this this wave you can see this wave the frequency of this wave will sense if the frequency of this wave will sense then the output sound of this buzzer also sense and the LED blinking time also sense 